kids are being diagnosed with nearsightedness. Not surprisingly, more screen time could be to blame for this one, but new treatments are showing promise in slowing myopia. So a little bit of a solution, hopefully here. Want to bring in our no Halani graph, looking at the options to slow progression in this morning's Health Insider. Good morning. Good morning. You know, about a third of adults suffer from nearsightedness, myself included. I don't see things <laughs> far away very clearly. Now it's like the prompter's in 3D. Yes. So it's almost expected when you reach a certain age, it seems. But for kids, it's a lot more of an adjustment. Being fitted for glasses can be uncomfortable both physically and socially. And while eliminating screen time is near impossible, there are some things you can do to balance it out. And does it look better one or two? One. The Trivetti family recently noticed their oldest son was showing signs of myopia, nearsightedness. Things far away were getting blurry. Some of the symptoms that came up were like headaches or sometimes uh, the eyes are being strained by near work. Optometrist Dr. Cheryl Chapman says more people are being diagnosed and their vision is getting worse faster. It is predicted that about 65% of Americans will be nearsighted um, by the year 2050. She says more time on computers and phone screens means eyes are focused up close for longer. The myopic eye is growing longer and longer. And as the eye grows longer, the retina becomes more stretched out. The biggest concern, the impact on eye health over time, setting you up for glaucoma, cataracts. But now there are ways to slow progression, including specific eye drops, contact lenses, and a therapy called orthokeratology, contacts that kids sleep with. It's basically like wearing a retainer on the cornea and reshaping the cornea while the child sleeps. The Trevettis are treating both sons now and creating new habits, hoping it doesn't get worse, like the 2020 rule. I was watched near work for 20 minutes, uh, take a 20 second break and look away 20 feet away. They also spend more time outside. Two hours of sunlight a day can cut a child's risk in half and more family time. Trying to actually go back to old school, like doing board games or doing other things that are not just electronics. Seeing the risk through new eyes and hoping others will too. You know, there's no cure, but at least we're now taking the right steps to increase his chances of having the most healthy adult life as possible. And that's what we all want for our kids, right? And more promise is on the horizon. A study just released showing bedtime eye drops using the same medication used to dilate pupils did help slow progression of myopia in kids ages 6 to 10. It was tested over three years, and if approved, it would be the first drug therapy to officially treat this. And in the meantime, guys, if you notice that your child is rubbing their eyes more, they're blinking excessively, and they really seem unaware of objects off in the distance, then it probably is time to go get them an eye exam and see a doctor. Yeah, it's a good warning sign too. I know sometimes maybe if a kid's having trouble in school as well, that exactly. could be. But yeah, all those things to look out for. And it, especially if it doesn't make sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good stuff, Nohe.